Hello, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. It just felt like the way I was supposed to do it. I was supposed to do it. <clears throat> I uh, <clears throat> usually, lately, uh, whenever I do these lives, I don't uh. <clears throat> you know, I, I haven't been, like, looking too much at, like, the camera and, like, looking down and stuff. It's because usually I don't have a whole lot of people. But the last couple of times I've had, like, a couple of people, like, jump in and say things. And so I'm going to try to be more interactive this time. Because I feel like, uh, I don't know. I just, I feel bad, you know. Like, that's because this is the whole point is to be interacting with you guys anyway. So if there's people in at the time. Bef like right before I think right after the song before I go I'll say a couple more things and give you guys a chance to ask questions if there's anyone in if not well then I'll move on because I'm actually starving but I wanted to bring you guys uh <clears throat> you know the song so this song was uh this song was created using the new uh, uh uh the adaptation to my you know normal structure in terms of creating a song so like I said usually I uh write and record the whatever the actual song Monday, Wednesday, <clears throat> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, respectively, are uh, the mixing, the engineering, and then the mixing and mastering. Right? Uh, I kind of spread it out. Sometimes engineering doesn't take that much, depending on the song. So I'll just kind of mix a little bit on Thursday, and then just master on whatever. But <clears throat> you know, uh, I also said I was trying to get better, and so somebody gave me some advice uh, a couple weeks ago, and I've been tr my new adaptation was now. You know, do the same thing Monday to Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday. Look back at uh, the song from the week before. So don't like, you know what I mean? Uh, that way I have a m minute to step away and come back like a fresh creative because I've been thinking about other stuff, whatever, like as if I'm a different person. And then try to fit things more sonically together rather than just this cut, copy, paste kind of deal. And so I did. Got a little more, uh, you know, out of my comfort zone in terms of what I usually do. Uh, to kind of get things to sound good. Um, but, uh, you know, and, and I think it came out really, really good. I'm, I'm actually very, uh, very happy with this. And I'm excited to keep experimenting with this, with this new style of, of you know, I, I feel more, I, I think, uh, creative, like with the actual engineering mixing process. Like, it's not just how do I make it fit in? It's more like, how do I make it sound the way I wanted it to sound? So anyway, yeah, I'm going to run the song real quick. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk a little bit. So, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I like to wear my black chain inside out. More creative with my outlook, not just sound. I'm about to pick the pace up and not slow down. Not afraid to throw a hit into the lost and found. Cause you won't find what I can't lose and that's my crown. The ground. Other people only see it smoking loud. Less of faith is not allowed as I've been powering up. For example, I got rid of many men that love excuses. Found that when you quit's the only time you're ever losing. Quantities the way you're only learning if you do it. And you have to be in love to be successful with the music. Any days, I never call a day a waste day. No holidays or even pay time off. Stay away, don't respond to provocation. Moving smart, I know my enemies impatient. Break through a phase and level up Seven more days and I can level up Grind through the storm to level up I don't even notice when I level up Y'all see the change, built from the strain Stronger feels better Lifting my blade, hot from the flame Stronger than ever Preparation leads to opportunities Execute on daily chances Heavy handed with impunity Nothing left to say I'm getting proof and staying true to me Laughing in the mirror About the figure that I'm soon to be Have to groom myself Cause only I can do it well Know I took a couple hits for this I love to show this well This is life for me, it's real And I'll be swinging to the bell While he's flexing, I'll be working Only champs deserve a belt I want gold, bitch That's the devil all the time Need a sponsorship from Nike ATM, my favorite line Just do it, bitch What I always tell myself Same pressure used for diamonds Make the hits I got for sale What's good, baby, all 100 Got the best percentages and lowest fucking budget Damn, no good, baby, I won't cut it It's a very real thing, like jail peace, sunny Straight up, baby Sprint through a phase and level up Seven more days and I can level up Grind through the storm to level up I don't even notice when I level up Y'all see the change, built from the strain Stronger feels better Lifting my blade, hot from the flame, sharper than ever.
Wah. Nice. So, <clears throat> all in all, I will say uh, that I think, you know, for anybody, I'm not, I'm not the best creator in the world, obviously. I'm trying to get better, right? Uh, always. I'm always trying to improve. Some people might think that I'm really good. Some people might think I'm trash. But across the board, the ideas are what matter. And so that's what I'm trying to bring to you guys in terms of uh, this time around and this live is. <clears throat> so now I've tested it once. Uh, but I'm going to continue, continue to do it. But first of all, last week I said that make sure you have a structure if you're a creator, right? Make sure you have structure because artists are notorious for putting things off and just their lives falling into disarray. <laughs> you, need to, you need to go to the gym or something, create some kind of structure. But uh, aside from that, don't be too monotonous because that's what I was doing. And I feel like, like, so the creative decisions even changed. Like, I mean, I had somebody, you know, the guy that, that told me this, they, they kind of like gave me the idea to, for this to step away from the song, come back. And therefore, I had, you know, adapted my process. I, uh, he also was, uh, he, he was giving me his opinion on this or whatever. And on this one in particular, I was having a hard time with the hook. The transition was weird. I was just going straight through with everything, with the regular melodies and all that. And he was like, uh, suggested to take that out. And I, as somebody who was in marching band and concert band like that for a very massive part of my life, you know, it, it, when all I had was the bass, cause I have a little bass in there, right? uh what would you have a liverpool bass whenever i had that bass and just the like just the bass sitting there going i didn't even have a snare until halfway through the hook uh with the vocals it kind of brought me back to like that that like standing in the bleachers or wherever you are for depending on where what performance you're doing and then just kind of being part of the music you know what i mean because like you just got the cadence going the low the low uh you know Low brass, so you know the tubas. I was a trombone, so trombone, baritones, all those people, and then trombones were one of those things where you kind of go in between the bass line and the actual uh, uh, melody. So you know, whenever the melodies come around, we switch into that. And at the, those points in time, you're just sweaty. It's like you know, you're hot as hell. Whatever you're in the you're, you're in part of this you know in college or whatever, and there's just this big thing going on. The school spirits up. You're trying to make your team win and stuff. You're like no longer the an artist playing an instrument. You are like part of the music you are just the music you know you guys are the band you are the music and so i don't know there was something that kind of like reminded me of that and so <clears throat> it wasn't enough i had to do something else right so we we added in a he he added in a guitar for me and um uh, you know so i he did a bunch of takes and i just kind of chopped it up and and sampled it out along with some other uh uh you know uh, I, I did some personally some harmony stuff that like that you can kind of hear let me solo it out, actually, where we come into the hook. When you come into the hook, <laughs> moving smart, I know my enemy's impatient. This part. So that part, that wasn't actually part of the song, obviously. But whenever he did that, you know, <clears throat> I asked for his opinion. And so I was going to stick with it. I was uncomfortable, but I was going to stick with it and see it through. And I took it, I, you know, I removed those, uh, the main sample, <clears throat> like I said. And before he actually played the guitar, I felt like it was empty and I needed to do something about it. And so I did that. I went falsetto and I kind of did two harmony lines. And, uh, you know, spread them out, lots of reverb, EQ the specific way. And, you know, and it kind of gives you that we nice little transition out of that into like that, you know, like I was saying, that low, like you're in the kind of, you're in the groove or whatever. You are the music and you're moving with it. <laughs> moving smart, I know my enemy's impatient. Spring through a phase. And so you almost can't even tell that, that, that it, like the switch was so smooth you don't even know that that's a vocal going on in the background you know it's just like i added this extra foundation that you need to fill out something um and so it just seems like somebody turns something down and else something else up at the same time but like you you won't notice unless i had pointed it out and so i don't know it was really cool and sometimes i this is why i'm going to stick with this uh structure of making music because for now, you know, and, and definitely experiment with it because it f I felt like I experimented a lot more, you know, and I ended up doing something really cool and creative. 
and and sometimes it's worth going in a different creative direction not like don't pivot and go 180 right never go backwards but you know i kind of pivoted just a little bit like two degrees off one or two degrees that way i was still within the same vein but also you know and I, but you're only able to do that when you're not super close to it right that's why i suggest that uh the song that you re recorded or whatever written recorded wrote and recorded last week you know uh, engineer makes and master it the next week um after you write and record a whole different song that way you're able to kind of do stuff like that i thought it was really cool uh but yeah uh you know if, if you ever feel like a song's too monotonous it's because it is um so you're you're an artist get creative <laughs> i don't know what else to tell people but whenever if, if you ever have problems with that do that um uh, for those of you in the future this is you know, whatever, wherever, what are we now? October 2020. For those in the future looking back and you want to see whatever, this is, uh, yeah. That's that's my opinion on if you ever have some kind of, whenever you're listening to a song, but it's just not right. And you feel like it's good. It's good, but there's something missing or there's too much or not enough going on. I wouldn't ever suggest adding more unless you, there is, wasn't enough to begin with. Uh, but, you know, making a switch and going a different direction, that makes more sense uh, sometimes. But get creative, experiment. And if you don't know if it's the right move or not, do it. Spend a lot of time, spend two hours doing it. And if it doesn't work, trash it. You know what I mean? It's part of the process. Uh, and another thing, since we're on the topic, something that happened to me is like, like I said, I was replacing my Tuesdays and, and Friday. I'm sorry, my Thursdays and Fridays. Normally I'm off on Saturdays. I try not to do anything music wise. And then Sundays, I jump back into it and do something else. <clears throat> and uh, I wasn't feeling good. It was less about not feeling good. It was more about, um, you know, I I, uh, I ran this obstacle course on Wednesday or Tuesday, something like that. And it was, like, super cold. We had a cold front come through. And it was, like, super cold. And I hadn't done cardio. I hadn't done outside cardio in a long time. And so, like, I had a bunch of inflammation and stuff uh, with these lymph nodes and, and like, like listening to anything like listening to somebody talk pissed me off and hurt my eardrum so always prioritize your health because it's not about i gotta grind this one out i know a lot of people talk about grinding it out but you sound your music's gonna sound like trash like not because of the decisions you made but because like in like creatively but because you just couldn't hear it <laughs> you know it's a different type of being too close like you're literally sh you know what i mean shoving your head underwater but trying to do it at the same, like trying not to listen and listen at the same time. That's what's happening whenever your ears hurt, when your ears are fatigued or whenever you're just like you have a health problem or something. Take the time off to recover and get back to it fresh, because if you do it first, you're going to burn yourself out. You're going to you're going to make yourself hate it. Secondly, you're going to make bad, bad creative decisions. It's not going to sound good. You're also that's going to contribute more to not wanting to do it again. And yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I don't, I, wouldn't, I want to say the third thing, but I don't know that there is a third thing. But that's that's it, you know. You're going to make trash if you feel like trash. So spend the time uh, on your own health and well-being. Since there's nobody here, nobody has questions. Uh, so I'm just going to go on because I'm hungry and I got to make another beat. You know what I'm saying, baby? So um, <clears throat> if you're watching this after the fact, which I'm sure you are, most of you are, then uh, feel free to drop comments, you know what I'm saying? DM me, whatever. I got a lot of support. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't feeling good because of that. Uh, and I still wasn't even feeling 100%. I was just going to wait till next week and kind of like really dial in. But, you know, I got a lot of support because I had a song drop. And it was in the past. And people don't realize that three months is a lot for me. That's 12 songs different. So I made 12 songs since the song that I just released, uh, you know, friday uh 12 songs since that one and so i was really uncomfortable even when releasing it i'm gonna release everything though but that song you know i was i was having problems with i just felt like i my my bars weren't on par with you know a lot of things weren't and still aren't you know i'm moving in that direction but it just that was it was really really weak comparatively so uh to other facets of being a well-rounded uh, artist like you know the singing and the other like the creative ability i just i didn't you know that that was really bad at that point in time including the writing so and you can hear it in that song but i still put it out i believe in it you know and uh honestly 
I got a lot of really good feedback from a lot of people. I guess, you know, people liked it more than I liked it. <laughs> so that's cool. It's always a nice, nice uh, a bonus. But I don't know. I got a lot of DMs, got a lot of, uh, you know, public and private, like, support and this this weekend. And it, it just pushed me into the studio and to make these really good decisions. And I don't know. I feel, like, way more recovered. And there's something to be said about your mindset, you know, and the support. It's like sometimes when you're feeling better emotionally you recover better physically that's a real thing and uh and it's really it was it was awesome and i really love y'all for that you know what i mean and that's why i'm always going to continue to give back that's why i'm working so hard to to go on this massive run next year uh, and it's not going to end you know the run's never going to end i'm going to keep going until until i guess i can't hear anymore or something <laughs> make me god forbid i don't ever want that to happen so uh yeah that's all I got to say. And I appreciate you guys for everything. Leave the comments if you want to say anything, talk about anything, comments, DM, whatever you want. I'm all here. I'm all here for you. I'm willing to help. I have a couple people. Like I said, I'm not the best at anything in particular in the world. But, you know, people ask my opinion of things and, uh, you know, in the DMs and uh, like, you know, how to become better at this or that or whatever. And some of these people are better than me at certain aspects. And then they just need, you know, wanted some perspective on some other thing. The difference between me and a lot of other artists is I'm willing to give that to you. You know, if or even if you're just not, you're just a fan. You want to learn how to, you know, whatever, rap more or something like there are far better rappers in the world and far better singers in the world. But I'm just willing to give you how, what I did to start. You know what I mean? Uh you know, if you want anything like that or just, you know, whatever, I guess, regular life shit. But I'm all down to talk. I'm all down to give the knowledge because I kind of feel like it's a waste if I just got the knowledge and I keep it all to myself. Like, I think something I definitely want to do in the future is teach people how to teach, <laughs> you know, because I feel like not enough people in this fucking world teach other people. And that's kind of like a lot of our problems in just like in general in this world. And I want to I want to contribute to the spread of knowledge and education and so yeah i'm gonna that's what I want. one of the big things i want to use my platform for in the future is to teach people how to fucking teach you know what i mean like before you can teach people to learn you need to teach people to teach so that they have so other people have something to learn you know what i mean so anyway that being said i'm starving hope you guys like the song uh it's coming out next year but you know you know what it is i hope uh, yeah, like I said, anything, any questions, whatever, whatever. Drop comments, send me a DM. I'm going to talk with you. I love y'all. See y'all later, baby.